रोलिंग कैमरा एक्शन प्रोफेसर गदरे प्रोफेसर गदरे हेलो आई एम धनंजय गदरे and I teach at the Electronics and Communication Engineering Division at the Netaji Subhas University of Technology in Delhi. Welcome to this introductory video for the upcoming online course on Introduction to Embedded System Design. Now, would you be surprised if I told you that an average middle class home in India has probably more than 10 computers? Well, these are not the conventional desktop or laptop computers with a CPU box, a display, a keyboard and a mouse. But tiny integrated circuits embedded deep inside these gadgets that surround us. These gadgets and products owe their functionality and performance to such a dedicated computer or in some cases a bunch of computers. You know, such computers are termed as embedded computers. And such products and systems that utilize an embedded computer together with other subsystems are called embedded computer systems or embedded systems in short. We are surrounded by such embedded systems. In fact, there is no aspect of human life that is untouched by these systems apart from a microwave oven, washing machine, refrigerator, LED lighting, air conditioners, television sets, even the TV and AC remotes. Virtual assistants such as Amazon Echo and Google Home. Health diagnostic systems like blood sugar or blood pressure measurement systems. E-book readers such as Kindles, toys and in the case of cars, several embedded computers. In fact, I would like to show you three devices which you would be surprised are examples of embedded systems. An RFID card such as the Dell Metro card, the fancy Gillette Razor that needs a battery for operation and this noise cancelling headphone that you saw me using at the beginning of this video. The reason I could not hear my camera person is because such noise cancelling headphones cancel out external noise and to achieve that they use a powerful embedded processor, in this case an embedded digital signal processor and therefore makes a great example of an embedded system. Since embedded systems are so ubiquitous, you know, it becomes imperative to learn more about them. What are the elements of an embedded system? How do they work and how to design them? Learning about embedded systems will give you the skills and expertise to design, manufacture and manage billions of such embedded products of the future and having these skills and expertise would make you eminently employable. Broadly, an embedded system is an electronic system that uses an embedded computer. Since there is a computer involved, it needs appropriate software or program for them to function. Now, if you attend this course, obviously a question will arise in your mind as to what will you learn out of this course? What are the deliverables of this course? What are the course objectives? Now, we will learn about embedded system design using a building box approach. Our approach has six building blocks. Input block, output block, embedded computer block, communication block, and host and storage block, besides a power supply block. These are the essential elements of uh, an embedded computer system. We'll also learn about various ways of implementing the embedded computer block. One popular way is to implement the embedded computer using a microcontroller. Microcontrollers are complete computers on a single chip. These microcontrollers have great diversity in terms of size and the performance that they offer. And we'll give you some idea about that. We will cover the very popular low power MSP430 microcontroller from Texas Instruments. We will teach you the architecture, programming and interfacing the MSP430. We will also teach you how to write, debug and program and download the C program from, the, from an ID into the memory of the microcontroller. And last but not least, we will teach you various aspects of complete system design including testing and debugging an embedded system. And at the end of the course, you can expect to be able to design an embedded system from scratch to finish. Now, this co online course is probably very unique. It has hands-on approach and significant component of hardware. We are very excited to share that Texas Instruments, which is uh, supporting this course, are providing MSP430 microcontroller kits to all the registered participants. This kit has three components. 
It has an MSP430 single board computer called MSP430 Lunchbox. It also has a sensor board that we call Mini Voyager 1 and an input output interface board that we call Mini Voyager 2. I am going to be joined for this online course by Dr. Badri Subuddhi. He is a faculty at IIT Jammu. I will also be, we will also be supported by a large number of my current students in my lab as well as many former students who are working in various aspects of embedded system design out in the field. And these students, their hard work makes it possible for me, for us to offer this online course. The prerequisites of this course are that you should have some background about digital electronics. Before that, you should have some background in basic electronic components and circuits. And you should have some knowledge about C programming. It would help if you also have taken a course on computer architecture. We are very excited to offer this course and I am sure after watching this video, you would be equally excited to join us. Hope to see you online. Thank you. Bye-bye.